Hi, I'm Gary Parson, Creative Director of FIFA 11. One of our big gameplay features this year is a feature that we're calling Personality Plus. The goal of Personality Plus is to accentuate the character and attributes of individual players. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time now to show you some videos that demonstrate how we're balancing and tuning the attribute effects in our game. The following video is taken from our development testbed environment. The first video I'm going to show you highlights some of the changes that we've made to the passing system. You'll see the ball come in from the right and the player will try to kick it 90 degrees in order to hit the target next to the penalty spot. What you can see from the blue ball trails is that the first player, whom we have given high skill, gets the ball relatively close to the target. Not perfectly, obviously, as this is still a pretty difficult pass, but close enough that the receiver should be able to get to the ball. The second player, however, has low skill and you can see that he is not able to control the pass nearly as well. This is a significant change for FIFA and one that we believe will add more depth to the game by forcing you to think more about how you can build up play and who you are making passes with. I'm now going to show you a test that we do on the shooting attributes. This time the video is side by side and you can see that we have two players, one high skill and one low skill, both hitting the same shot over and over, aiming for the top left corner. The red and blue boxes indicate where the ball crosses the goal line and you can see that the variance of the high skill player is much lower but also the accuracy of the high skill player is much higher than that of the low skill player. In addition to shot accuracy, we are also giving the best players more shooting animations to allow them to make shots that others can't. One example of this is agile 180 degree shots. First up is the low agility player and you can see how he struggles to get around the ball and this results in an awkward shot kicked into the ground which the goalie deals with quite easily. In contrast, the high agility player can take the ball much earlier and is able to make a stronger contact and in this instance is able to score. The next video shows one example of how we are testing that the dribbling attribute has the effect that we want. You can see here the difference in turn and circle between a low and a high skilled player. The high skilled player being able to play his animations faster and link two animations together quicker but also keep the ball closer. This allows him to play consecutive turn animations much quicker and thus complete a circle earlier. Creating personality and defending has always been something that we have struggled with in FIFA and is something that we are trying to address in 11. You can see here how a high skilled defender and a low skilled defender react as a dribbler tries to cut inside him. The low skilled player has a smaller tackle range which is indicated here by the white circle but also has slower reactions. This means that he is unable to read what the dribbler is doing as quickly as the high skilled defender. Next I have a video to demonstrate one of the personality changes that we have made in the ball control system. Here you can see how high skilled and low skilled players deal with a difficult lofted pass. The high skilled player has a better ball control and is thus able to get the ball under control earlier. The last video in this set shows one of the behaviours that we've added to the goalkeeper in order to create more personality there. What this shows is how the goalkeeper attributes will be used to determine how fast he can react to changes in the ball trajectory, whether that be from a shot or, as in this occasion, a deflection. So that's all I have for now, but hopefully it gives you some indication of the level of detail and depth that we're trying to achieve this year with the Personality Plus feature. Watch out in the coming months for more information on FIFA 11.